Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Tarot to Tarot. I hope everybody is having a good Christmas. I am spending my day with y'all doing videos. Doo -doo -doo. Had my big day yesterday. But anyway, this is going to be for Taurus and Aquarius 2021. Um, I have already shuffled and cut the cards. What's going on with the two of you for next year? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. It's actually very good for Taurus and Aquarius. What's funny is that Taurus and Aquarius of all the Zodiac are probably two of the most difficult signs to get together. But when they click, they click. That kind of shit. Um, do not, Taurus, I'm talking to you now, do not underestimate Uranus and Taurus. Uranus rules Aquarius. So don't just go thinking this is all some big mistake shit. It ain't. <laughs> it so ain't. Uh, and look who pops up first, the King of Swords. Um... Yeah, yeah, moving, fresh start. Yeah, six of swords. That's what that's that's what we're getting to. Um, some of y'all in your Taurus Aquarius pairing uh, are either gonna move in together. Or you're going to get engaged. There is no middle ground there. So, okay, that's what this reading is about. Um, if it doesn't resonate, check your rising, your moon sign. But this is definitely y'all coming together. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Hmm. Fuck. And so... The death card is probably where the transition will happen. So, in February, March, April, May, June, July, August, and the fall. The fall, even the colors are screaming fall, duh. Um, that is where the change will come. Um, I know I just did another reading, I forget which one, but the death card came up in, in this deck. Um, this is, a, if I'm mistaken, a Colette Baird read. Colette Baron read um, deck. And in this deck, the death card very specifically talks about sudden changes. This, that energy is not here. This is just change. You're transforming. So one part of whatever you've known about each other in the past is not what's happening now. Um, it's not what's happening now. There may have been some third party bullshit going on. And for a lot of you, let me say this, for a lot of you, uh, this is a karmic situation. For a lot of you, this might be a twin flame. Um, it's these difficult pairings that usually will produce soulmates and karmic shit and twin flame shit and what the hell ever. Um, yeah, there's the tower. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. So, I know y'all looking at this like, oh my God, it is so not that bad, for real. But this is all, whatever part of the karmic relationship, there may be pieces that are complete. So that part obviously is going to die, hence the death card and the tower card. Um... It may not be you, those lessons karmically. You may not have learned completely. So obviously, we're going to stretch all the way into September. But it feels like the fall is when 
the two of you will walk forward and deal with whatever it is you're going to deal with. Um, this is relationships towards Aquarius relationships that have been, and, and again, it's another one of, it's another sign that it, it might be a karmic situation type thing. This has been a situation where it's been a lot of back and forth, in and out, fuck you, no fuck you, oh baby I love you, you great. And this is one of those relationships where you've had periods of just total bullshit and periods of oh my god. Um, probably going to speak more to you than just the regular average Taurus Aquarius if there is such a thing. couple that hasn't gone through all of that. Now, let me say this. All Taurus Aquarius pairings are going to make a transition slash transformation next year. I'm going to say this again. Taurus do not underestimate Uranus being in our sign for another five and a half years. It's already been a year and some change. So now we can finish. We've got another five, six years left to go. Um, this is not a mistake. And when Aquarius shows up around anybody, really, there's some changes happening. I don't know what level, what cellular level they happen to be on, but they are they are indicators of change. And so it seems like for a lot of you, looking long term, your Aquarius is going to usher you into whatever Uranus has got up for offer as far as transformation is concerned. So I'm looking at the front end of the overall energy, the Four of Cups and the King of Swords. Um, a lot of you may be feeling like opportunities passed you by with your Aquarius. And I'm going to put this vice versa too because it's on swords. It's on Aquarius's element. Aquarius may be feeling like time has passed by and that one or the other has outgrown come on <clears throat> the situation this is you may be feeling this like i don't know if i want to do because i know whatever happened last time and you may be feeling like the situation is bigger or more stressful the dude is what old dude and a baby come on baby ready to clamp down and he's like no you can't get down yet that kind of energy you may be feeling like you know no I don't it's not gonna know because opportunity is passing me by but the trick here is knowing that the Aquarius or the Taurus but that's resonating is the opportunity that's gonna pass you by if you fuck this up I can't put that any plainer um, the King of Swords is about business whatever reading he happens to show up in that we are talking about Aquarius there's no mistake there they are and you may feel this about your Aquarius right now they are very much on point and taking care of their business so, um, and some of you Tauruses may emotionally feel like, you know, your opportunity passed you by with the Aquarius from a previous incarnation a year or two or three or four ago. Um, and you, you just may be feeling, you know, like, well, I thought you were gone or I thought the situation was over. You may be feeling that. Um, that you're not speaking on it, Taurus, does not mean it's not being picked up trust on that. The two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles Taurus, that's you all day. Uh, who knew? Um, you may be feeling insecure because some of you may have gotten to a point sometime this year of being in balance and you may be feeling a bit insecure right about now about what's going on not just Aquarius, but across the board. Um, the note here is to not get your ass up off that horse. That's the note, period. I don't care. That's what they're telling me. Don't get your ass up off that horse. Whatever you're doing, 
keep doing it. That part. If you start trying to control in any way, divert off of what you're doing, you're going to throw yourself and the situation out of balance. I know that sounds a bit stressful, but that's, that's the short and the long run. And some of you, if you are, if this is one of those exes that came back through one of the retrograde periods and just, you know, now y'all are kind of seeing some smoke and fog clear that there may be a way ahead. That part right there. And the, and the situation itself is throwing you out of bounds. I'm going to say this to you again, Taurus. Don't get your ass up off that horse. Keep doing what you're doing. The challenge here is to understand that you're moving ahead. This is a fresh start for both of you. And there's no need for any of the, either of you to get aggressive or start trying to push the towards you especially. There's no reason to get all your, your, your bull panties in a bunch and start trying to make shit happen that is not happening in the current moment. That's the best way I know how to put that. That's your challenge for next year with your queries. To understand that there's lightning and thunder and shit. But this is no reason for you to get aggressive. That part. It isn't. Just observe what's going on and do what the Six of Swords do. Do this. Swimming. Out of the choppy into the calmer. But you've got to, to chill. <laughs> now, there may be instances where you need to get aggressive with your Aquarius about um, which way you're going and what you're doing. Because, again, Aquarius is an air sign. And, and I, far be it for me, because there's several Aquarius, Aquariuses that I love to death to call them airheads. But they get flighty. They are big thinkers and big dreamers. You know, bull is straight ahead. Just point me in the direction so I can poke you with my horn. That's where we're going. Air is all over. So you may have to, at some point, get aggressive with Aquarius. But the general meaning and feeling coming back with that Knight of um, Wands is to not get aggressive and aggressive in your actions and that doesn't mean necessarily that you're advancing or confronting someone but you are picking up the pace you're getting a little aggressive in what you're doing in your actions how you're responding to things instead of maybe three months ago you might not have been answering the phone now you're answering the phone every time hey whoa slow that down um if you can remember that that will do you well next year with your Aquarius. Looking at January, once again, these kings, boy, I'm trying to tell you, you agree. Um, the Knight of Cups is definitely speaking to following your intuition and understanding that your romance is going through a transition. So things that you knew in the past about your lover and where their head was or how they may have responded or reacted to anything, drop that shit immediately. And you may have to have a little cunning and a little slickness behind that. Now again, don't get that mixed up with that aggressive up there. But you may have to think and this is something Tauruses are reticent to do because we're doers. We don't want to sit around on the abstract and try to figure out, you know, where the green and the blue meet. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Tell us where we need to point our horns and we're out of here. And we will run through your china shop, tear up the shit, and fart all at the same time and be a happy camper when it's over with. So, this is not about you doing so much towards, it's about you thinking your way through any little obstacles or challenges you may have to deal with. If this is a reconnect, I guarantee you one or the both of you have some outstanding folks out here in the wings either observing and stalking the hell out of you, and that's Taurus and Aquarius both, or you're actively kind of sort of involved with someone else. 
you store that up against the wall. So you're going to have to use Unca Besa, Taurus, and understand that your relationship with your Aquarius is going through a change. So the first few days, weeks, the next year are not going to be, ooh, pretty glamorous. No. It's going to be about you thinking your way through and following your intuition, um, staying grounded. Knight of Cups in this deck also speaks to hidden facts coming out. There may be some hidden facts, some things you didn't know. But let me put, the, put it to you this way. If this is a reconnect, this was an unexpected reconnect. So uh, Aquarius may have come around and decided, ooh, Taurus, you the one. Or Taurus may have come around and said, ooh, Aquarius, you the one. However that's resonating, just remember that and that you're going through a transition. It's going to be good, but you need to just not be aggressive, be smart and, and outwitty, cunning if you will, and dealing with it, and you'll be fine. Looking at February and March, you've got the Knight of Cups and the King of Swords, um, one of the both of you are going to fall. This is hard shit. This ain't no, oh, I just fell in love. He's so cute. No, this is from the inside out. Um, and if I sound somber and sober, I am. While I'm saying this, because this is heavy energy. This ain't no shit right here. So some of you, this might be a life partner for you. Or a soul, a real soulmate. Not, you know, the one of a million soulmates that you got to encounter through life. But a real soulmate. The one that you walk with through some part of your experience. Um, there's a note of dedication here. And I want to say this is coming from Aquarius. Because they're emotional creatures. This is Cups. But we don't always see air signs as emotional. We see them as analyzers and thinkers and all. But dude, trust me, they do. Still waters go real deep. They do. With the Queen of Cups, that ain't doing nothing but solidifying the situation. It's a done deal. But let it happen. I'm probably going to keep saying that. When you get into uh, the month of March, as you get to the end of the first quarter, there may be some people trying to throw some shade. Hello. This is Aquarius right here, the King of Swords. So they're not going to let just anybody start some bullshit. Now, they may lay back and watch for a minute, but when they see something of theirs getting ready to be fucked with at some elemental level, choosing my words carefully here, they will get just as bad as a bull, if not worse. So you want to talk about a tornado or a hurricane, yes, they will. So there may be some illusory shit here with the moon. But this is also a part of the Uranus boot camp kick your ass, Taurus. You need to deal with your demons. So there may be something here. Somebody trying to kick some shit around. <laughs> Whatever, pictures on Facebook, however you want to stress this out. But let Aquarius get troubled about some shit. And it's over. It's a done deal. I wouldn't even worry about that. With the moon card, yes, hidden truths, things might be kind of, you know, I don't know, glowy, foggy, Neptune-y, illusory, if you will. But... This also goes back to Uranus being in the sign of Taurus. So you may have to, there may be some obstacles you need to just deal with, some demons, if you will, and let Aquarius hold it down for you. Again, what you used to, what happened in the past, not having it right now. When we get to April, get into Taurus birthday month, one part of it, the Four of Wands and the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is that love message thing. But here is where your bond will begin to deepen. So there may be a series of events or things that happen. Don't even trip because this is all about bonding. 
And so uh, if it's a karmic relationship, it, you'll feel it. You'll definitely feel the bond deepen. May, talking about the chariot with the ace of wands. Now it's time for everybody to start moving forward. We don't get over here and down here standing still. So by the time you may babies get going good, it'll be time. This is action. It'll be time to start moving the relationship and yourself forward. You may feel overwhelmed because of the success. Woo. Some of you may just be blown the fuck away because you thought this was, again, something that was gone, something that had passed you by. And now here you are. All in the middle of springtime and whatnot. Shit just, what, wait, what? That kind of energy. That chariot is major. So, uh, you see the two down here looking at each other? Yeah, that part. Moving forward. That's a good thing. Um, when you get to June, It will be time to start planning. But there are risks. You're going to have to review. These aren't risks you just jump out and take. They're going to be risks you're going to have to look at and see if they make sense to you. Follow your intuition to move you forward. But this is all about the planning and the progressing. And you see them sprigs up there on the tree. This is where groundwork, maybe new groundwork gets set for the two of you to move forward. I'm sorry, Taurus and Aquarius, I had to take that call. Anyway, to the moving forward. So you're moving forward. Um, I don't have a feeling that this is a lack of passion or anybody not owning their power that the two of you are even trying to forge any kind of partnership tells me that you're both trying to own your power. So that's a good thing and not a bad thing because it means that you're both participating. Forget what you, I'm telling you, forget what's going on in the past. And if you look, he is not paying none of nothing, no damn mind. From that angle, from this angle, walking right into success. So keep, let your intuition guide you forward towards, don't get that part twisted. And you'll know, you're just feeling all kind of weird, crazy, funny, good. Keep walking. Let's see, six months, July. We've been talking about the magician, Ace of Pentacles. And again, it's still this feeling, you know, like you may have missed an opportunity and how is it coming back? But again, the bonding moment underneath the four of wands and the page of cups, this is where you begin to see that bond and how we want to talk about hopes, wishes, and dreams and shit, falling stars and stars up in the sky and the infinity symbol. So this is not, again, this is major, major shit. This ain't no little winky dinky doobie doobie. There may have been some things in secrecy. This is the back side of this card. So you understand what you're coming out of. I know somewhere up here says something about hidden facts might be coming to light because you're dealing with some things that have gone on from the past. Both of you may be, again, you just, it might be you got somebody looking at you and trying to make offers and proposals. That part right there. But here's where you are. You're laying the foundation for your relationship and the ace of pentacles ain't nothing but a damn treasure chest of just abundance and good shit so it really will depend on you tours kind of leaning into this and just going with the flow and not making any waves or issues or just it's going to look foreign to you if you haven't been this far in a relationship with an aquarius before it's going to look foreign who the fuck is this <laughs> gonna look different but that's okay um August yeah um, let's start talking about marriage 
those of you that are anywhere on that spectrum. So moving in together, getting engaged, getting married even. But that's where that's where this starts. This is August. And damn it, didn't I say? <laughs> Woo. But this is about patience, being patient and learning each other and letting the transformation happen to your relationship because, you know, it's not easy to forget things that have gone on in the past, but there's something here that's got the two of you together. And you're not mad about it. Um, and just even from this viewpoint, just looking, uh, you're coming out of a, a misty period for both of you. Taurus, you can't deny the last two years have just been a hot hell mess for you. Trying to figure things out, trying to understand where you should be growing and how you should be growing and if you should stay and need another job and want another car and not happy with where you are financially. All of those things, all that gray, you're coming out of it. You're just coming out of it. As we get into the fall, so we September, it's going to be about the patience. Uh, there's a caution. Let me back up here. There's a caution to this that you don't get in your own way. <laughs> so don't trip over the bull hooves, if you will. Let things happen. Don't block yourself. And be patient. Be patient with yourself as well as a relationship. This is new ground for both of you, it feels like. So be patient uh, in stepping forward. By the time we get to October, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, some of you will have already jumped the broom. Others of you will be trying to find a broom to jump over. That part, this will set a very strong period of abundance. I'm just looking at all those pentacles. This is going to set a really, 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 really strong period of abundance not just money either this is going to be an accumulation of property for some of you projects that you work on together uh, projects that you help other people work on together that kind of energy so it's you're going to move into a more collective situation with Aquarius in terms of helping other people there's a humanitarian piece for Aquarius um, and Aquarius is going to rely on you Taurus going to rely on you. Now, that's the number nine. So, you know, that ain't nothing but, ooh, we are here. Yes, you are here. And there you go. Some of you may postpone. If I'm just looking ahead, some of you may postpone marriage because there's something else that needs to happen first. Uh, I don't know if this is what I hear. You may be pregnant, so you may postpone the wedding until after you have the baby. Others of you may be making some type of move because there's a lot of movement here. So I'm not going to be surprised if you tell me, oh, yeah, you're my Aquarius, move to Montana. Yeah, okay, saw that coming. So with the movement, yeah, that's going to put you, that's luck. But that's, that's solid foundation. Um, there may be some snags in that dealing with other people, dealing with family, people's misconceptions or misunderstandings. The two of you will breeze through it like nothing, so don't let it get you, um, don't let it get you upset. When we get to November, judgment. What the hell? War transformation. And now you get into a mode of accepting, okay, this is me and my boo. This is what we do. That part right here. The judgment in this is that the decision, the decision that you've made to get together kind of puts the seal of approval on it, if you will. Um, don't, don't focus on limitations here. Don't focus on what you can't do. Definitely focus on what you can do. If you focus on what you can't, cannot do, you may start dealing with illusions. You may be adding shit that don't need to be added to it. So keep yourself grounded as best you can, Taurus. Know that this is about the acceptance as you're going through this transformation. And kind of, I want to, the feeling here is getting comfortable. You ever been to a movie theater? <laughs> and the seats, especially those new ones that swing around and do all kind of crazy shit. And you got a big booty, you got to get comfortable. I'm just saying. 
this is that feeling where you're trying to just find out where the sweet spot is. You can put your purse down or put your bag down and get your feet out there and be comfortable. And you'll feel this because you'll be walking into this and things that you thought would have been upsetting to you. Now suddenly you're like, okay, well, we got this, whatever. When we get to December next year, the caution here is to slow down. The tower that comes is coming from the outside. So this may be um, related to family. One or the other may have a sick parent or a parent that needs some help. And again, uh, buses, trucks, and trains moving. So some of you, this may be an outside force that's going to cause the two of you to have to either up your calendar, move it up, and move a little faster or change you may have to make a move back one way or the other or someone may have to come to you it's not a bad thing check out what your options are because there may be more than one option and when the two of you come up with the best option that'll propel you into 2022 and the things that you will have to deal with this is not a bad reading by any stretch of anybody's imagination. I'm sorry, it just ain't. It's awesome. Um, if you've been waiting on this, and Aquarius, if you for us watching, I'm talking to you too. Uh, this is definitely about the two of you moving and making a fresh start. Um, not being overly aggressive. Not... And that would be what this card would be if it was reversed. That's the energy I'm reading from it. In this, this format, it's aggressive. When it's up, upside down, not aggressive, I'm reading the, the reversal energy. Um, yes, there may be, some, like I said, some thunder booms on both sides. And everybody had to take a step back and go, huh? The hell was that? Just enjoy the show. Don't trip. Do not trip. Um, what will make this go much easier for you, Taurus, especially dealing with changes, is for you yourself to stay grounded and stay balanced. That's that Six of Swords back there, moving out of the choppy into the calmer. Um, and just kind of going, go with the stream. Don't be trying to pedal upstream. Damn it, the hell. You've got to do all that. Just go with the flow. Some of you may be that insecurity that you feel, and it may be you don't feel like Aquarius has your back. Let me address that. Um, they do, but it's not the way you're used to, Taurus, if this is a new situation for you. So if you've been in other pairings with other, um, it, with other Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, even Fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, even Aries, those are grounded elements. That shit, you know, even the water under the ground, the hill. So they, they bring, even in different formats or in a different way, but they bring grounding with them, their own brand of grounding. They ain't got a damn thing to do with the ground. I'm just saying. So you have to know um, that Aquarius has your back and not just be feeling like, you know, you don't know what's going on. And there may be a conversation that you have to have. Aquarius, always honest. They're always going to tell you more truth than you want to hear. That part right there. They're going to tell you, I got your back. Don't worry about it. Do what you're doing. That very well could be something they would say. So, uh, what did I tell you? Get out of your way, Taurus. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own way. The hell. <laughs> Taurus, I know this is for you because it's been showing up in all my damn readings. Taurus and whoever. Get your thinking in line. If this is what you want, fuck what you heard 10 years ago. This is not that play anymore. We are new play, new orchestra, new actors. This is a new thing. The face may look the same, but trust and believe, they have gone through some shit since y'all were whatever. For those of you that are already in this, but you just are sealing the deal, clarify what it is, what direction you want your relationship to go in. When you yourself, towards clarify your thoughts, the rest of everything else falls into line. And if you and Aquarius are moving in the same way, that ain't nothing. 
Let Aquarius be the wind behind your back, pushing you to get you where you need to go. But clarify your thoughts so you know which direction you're going in. Those of you that, again, I'm talking to that group that might have them extra stalkers hanging around, lurking and all that shit. Be all in or be all out. Now I'm talking to everybody. Aquarius, Taurus, everybody. Sun, sun, sun sign, moon sign, whatever sign. All of everybody. Be all in this or be all out. Don't be straddling the fence. Once again, if you're going to work off of old information and old data, you're going to be fucked. So be all in or be all out. Aquarius will get hurt. Now I'm talking to Taurus. Aquarius will get hurt, Taurus, if you're trying to dingling around. They will be deeply hurt. And that's the kind of hurt don't nobody turn around from. So I'm just saying, you're going to be all in this. Be all in it. Be all in it. There are going to be challenges. There are going to be hurdles and shit that you're going to have to navigate. Keep your cool. Keep your cool. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. And that's a change for Taurus. Taurus is like to control shit. We don't like shit that we don't can't see, feel, understand underneath our hooves or at the end of our horns. We can do what the hell you talking about. I'm just saying, it's all good. Go with the flow. Taurus and Aquarius, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend, a good new year, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.